want to say all praises and honor to you, how Barshim, how Shai, Barshim, the Kaka Kodash, and Dublin as the pastors and elders of Freeman Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and more people who are shooting us, sincerity and honesty. And basically, I'm from Army Jamie's and Jamaica camp. And I'm today at one hour, a video. See, because I know we have to push it through the same because we're still in the East of Kingdom. We're still asleep. You see, my infant is very deep. You see, until the so called white man's will push until the time you how shy. You see, um, you say, yeah, I eat that. You see, because, you know, years, some of years, we've been out in this, out in this wicked society, we've been 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 out in this wicked society, you see, because hey, out so can white man, you know, for long as we ride in our power, you see me, um, them can't do nothing at all against us. You see, because they even, even what happened back then, you see me, in the, in the ancient time, and super say in, a, in a Romans, uh, Romans 15 and verse 4, say, and whatsoever thing was written four time was it for our learning. You see, and now we're coming back to our power, so can white man don't like that. You see, me like when we basically um, do different, all different of madness. Give me a hand, brother. Um, me do the do the time one and seven five and one. Man, yeah. I said do it five and verse one. One. So then was it declared to Hall of Furness, yeah, the chief captain of the army of Ashur, that the children of Israel had prepared for a war. And I shut up the passage of the hill country. Can because that's how we know um um yeah, furnace was basically um destroy our people. See it um uh, never can I say, um, I'm captain. See it um, I'm a I'm a hawk about um, our people, I'm a inquire. See, because if the scripture says um before thou go, goes to make war with an enemy, you see me sit down first and count the cost. You see me if, if you're sufficient enough with this um the such such uh, with this amount, you see what for in the scripture. So much I'm say my inquire about our, our people. You see, but this is our basic um, um, scripture I say right now. Go on, brother. And had fortified at the top of the, hill, the high hills and had laid impediments in the campaign countries. Go on. Wherewith he was very angry and called all the prince of Moab and the prince of Ammon and all the governors of the sea coast. And he said unto them, Tell me now, ye sons of Canaan, who this people is that dwell in the hill country and what are the cities that they inhabit? Go on. And what is army and wherein is their power and strength and what king is set over them God. or captain of their army. God, we have to show you oh, 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 you know, oh, with our power, Yahweh, the father, Yahweh, Shai, the son is with us. You see, because when we, when we go to the war, I'm um, going back then. You see, we always see cons and even the father will go to the war. God. So, so this is what basically um, the, um, the, this, um, the Eden nation are basically explain uh, what the, um, what happened basically um, to our people. You see me, go on, brother. And why have they, why have they determined not to come and meet me yeah. more than all the inhabitants of the West? Go on. Then said, that is occur, occur, the captain of the sons of Ammon, let my Lord now hear a word from the mouth of thy servant. And I declare unto thee the truth concerning these people which dwell near thee and inhabit the hill countries, and they shall know and there shall no lie come out of the mouth of thy servant. These people are descendants of the Chaldeans. Yeah. It's a verse 17, verse 5 or 17. And whilst they sin not before their God. God, so because whilst we sin not before our power, one. They, they, they prosper. They prosper. So, so we're not no sin against our power. We prosper. You see me? And with the, the curse, with the, the, the curse, you can't get the brother. You can't get the curse to me. Give me, give me, give me blessing, post and give me the curse. 21, uh, 28 and 1, then I jump to 15. Brother, can't go back to that. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. What? Alright, say, and, and shall come to pass, thou shalt. Uh, hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, observe unto do all his commandments which I have commanded thee this day, 
the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations so, of the earth. So if you listen to the Lord basically um, say, and take it and, and follow in ways, this is how the scriptures say, the Lord put us above every nation that is upon the face of the earth. The face of the earth. But if you don't listen, what will happen to it? What? And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, and if thou shalt not the voice of the Lord. God, so we will get, get the blessings. What? 15 says, But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, God. to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this, this day. Is God. Um, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God. So the curse is basically we receive because we never did hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Is it the Amos um, 3 and 1 say, Hear this, we that have spoken against you, O, o children of Israel, against the whole, and, um, whole nation that I basically brought from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. Say, so, Lord, punish us for our iniquity because we never take heed to what basically say we're supposed to do. That's the reason why we're over this side of the world. You see me, our power is cut a choke the folk on the earth because I'll go back to the curse of the heavenly father. Give me um, Psalm 44, brother. And, and, um, and 10. Yeah. Alright, this is Psalm 44 and 10. What? Thou make us, us, thou make us, makest us to turn back from the enemies Go on. and they which hate us spoil for themselves. So this nation basically been destroying us, you see, over the years, yo, because we never take heed to the word of the heavenly father. You see, but ultimately, all this is how we got you basically fulfilled by the prophecy. So the reason why we as a nation if I don't know and I go through all these things is because we never take heed to the word of the Heavenly Father. So Heavenly Father make all these hidden nations oppress us. Go on. Because going back to the ancient time, what happened? We always see counsel of the Heavenly Father before we basically go up to battle. Before we go to war, we always see counsel. But it's what happened to us as a nation now. Go on. Yeah. Thou has given us like sheep appointed for meat. Thou has given us as what? Sheep appointed for meat. What? And has scattered us among the heathen. Thou sell us thy people for naught. Sell us thy people for what? Not. What? And thou hast not increased thy wealth by their price. Go on. Suppose so um, they must sell a boy for an harlot mm -hmm. and a girl for basically wine that they might drink. Joel 3 and 3. What? Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors. A scorn a, and a approach, a, dis a shame, a disgrace to our neighbors. All these nations look upon us as nothing now. Can. Can. See, especially if it's so called so -called Chinese, which are the Moabites. Moabites. They see us as thief. See, man, when you buy from them, they might deal them. They might deal them. I show you them hatred, you know. Uh -huh. No? I give you some attitude. Because these nations hate us. Go on. A scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Don't make us, us a byword among the heathen. Man, call them all different names, you Negroes, speak, wet box. No. All these things have been called us over the years, you A shaking of the head among the people. Shaking of the head among the people. I'm a shake the head, especially uh, the woman in our nation now. Especially so called black woman and, and you two fighting, doing all different type of madness. This nation has shaking the head among our people. So what happened to us as a nation? Because we never take it to the road of the Holy Father. Go on. Finish? Yeah. Jump back in that number. Alright, back in Judith 5 and 17. And whilst, and whilst they sin not before their God, they right. prospered. Because the God that hated iniquity because was with How about them. Shemesh Shaiwa? Eat iniquity. What? But when they departed from their way, which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles. We destroyed, no? Very many, sore. Many battles get destroyed, you know. Because we never basically take it to the Lord of Heavenly Father. They say, say Heavenly Father, let our enemy basically uh, punish us. Let our enemy punish us. So the reason why it's, it's so called white man um, getting so upset now, or have sleepless night now, because it's us, you know. see us coming back to our power. Because no, so for as long as we write to our power, they can't do nothing against us. So it was a great fear fill upon them when they see us. Now, Revelation 11 and 11. You, you can bring it up, brother? Yeah. Revelation 11 and verse 11. What? Same. And after three days and a half, the spirit of, of life from Yahweh entered into them. The spirit of life entered into them. You see, after 350 years. You see, starting from our and later, and late 60s with our um, babies. And especially now, because now we know the truth spread 
right across the world right now because we have the internet, okay. unicorn. So you know the so-called white man scared, serious basically, and the highways and the byways telling them them destruction, telling them about them destruction and all the things that we are speaking about are come to pass. That's how them scared, scared. I will tell them so what happened to them in the, the kingdom. They will put them back in the slavery. They don't want to be scared of these things, because they don't want to pay. You see, but they're going to pay. What? And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them with sores. Great, great fear fell upon the so-called white man. We saw us, and also the Syrian nation. And also two to the evil people. Sores, standing boldly. The scripture said, Now wisdom of Solomon 5. Yes, I this is wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such oh, as have afflicted, afflicted him. But because so can white man been afflicting us from another time and slavery come up to now. He is oppressing us for so long. What? And make no account of his labor. When they start, when they see it, when they shall be troubled. They shall be troubled with terrible, with terrible fear. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. So they're scared. That's the reason why they're hey, they they try. We demonize us so hard now. They kind of want to get rid of us all together. You see, they can't take the things that we're basically saying right now and, and, and on the internet. Huh? They torment them so much now. You know? So they're, they're determined to get rid of us all together. Fish? And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, our deliverance. So I like even, like even our people. Because our people can't them us. Because when I say the things of the world, the things that we have basically speak from the scriptures coming from the Ahubah Shem El Shai, the word of the Heavenly Father. You see me? And the word of the Heavenly Father is against this way of life. And two to the people, them, them, them is all about this world. So they will come against us. They call them as for the Ahubah Shem El Shai. She said, He that is not with me is against me. Man? So far beyond all that they have looked for. Man, exactly. Come back to the you did 5 and 18 again, but when they depart from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore, and were led captive into a land that they, that was not theirs. So like even over here in Jamaica, you see me, Trinidad, America, even Europe, because it's Keta. You see me through the folk on the earth, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, the Lord of Keta was from one end of the earth, from the east to the west, north to the south. And there people are going to serve other gods, even wood and stone. So all these things are what those as a nation, but we live in the time of the Lord together. The Helic, only the Helic on this side. Okay. And through the Helic, two to the people are going to burn back into the kingdom of the right man. What? And the temple of their, of their God was cast to the ground, okay. and their cities were taken by the enemies. Okay. But now, but now are they returned to their God. And right now we are returned to our power right now. And so can white man hate it, as I mentioned. What? And have come up from the places where we, they were scattered, and have possessed Jerusalem, with their sanctuary, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. God, give us ten, brother. Yeah. This is Ezekiel third verse three. God, so he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Now what the scripture said, he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So our, 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 our elders and our pastors are basically our, 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 our father, spiritual father. They teach us the truth and they grieve the so-called white man. They can't come to Bible prophecy. You see me, you know, get can't see my brother. Um, come to mind. Um, give me um, Malachi, uh, Malachi 4 and 5. Come to mind. See, go on. Right, this is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. God, the coming of what? Great and dreadful day of the Lord. You see, we live to the time of what? The coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh Shai. You see, the, the, our deliverance. Great deliverance. So what takes place? If I tell you speak about what happened back then in the ancient teaching, you must speak about this deliverance. Um, can I tell you, brother? I need, I need shall turn the hearts of the father to their children God. and the heart of the children to their fathers God. he shall come and smite the earth with a curse God. And as I mentioned earlier I was going to read the scripture the revelation is it um, started from the late 60s with Abba Bivins you know Elijah which is basically Elijah in the reincarnation so this is where the scripture shall take place is it my turn the heart of the father and the children and the children basically to their, father. to their fathers. Okay. So what take place? It's so called white man grieve now. You see us, you know, right across the world now, waking up and coming back to our power. You see me turn from this way of life. 
You see, that's where all this madness, when basically it has been teaching us for so long, plantation Christianity. See, boy, no? Jesus loves little children, with that, with that. you know, black and white, all our precious in sight. All this madness and teach us at this so called church itself. You, know? you see, me, I start to push truth. Say, Lord, look at the Israel and Israel only and no other nation. Okay. Have our nations get amongst all nations. See, I have even our people even look like the so called white people. The so called Jews, because people get amongst all nations. You see, but a lot of the theme people, which are the Israelites, it says, grieve the so called white man to see us, you know, and it's, and it's and, uh, pushing this truth so heavy. You see, I mean, bold, bold stuff. Go on. Um, he that teacheth his son, grieve the enemy. Go on. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Go on. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he had left behind one. That is like this, sir. Man, exactly. This is uh, Baruch, uh, Baruch 4, and verse 36. You see, oh, Jerusalem, look about towards the east. And look about it towards the east, what? Um, and behold, the joy cometh unto thee from the house of Hashem, O Shad, and lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. Right, they come together, they come gather together. So each person we are come gather together, one? From the east to the west. From the east to the west, one? By the word of the only one who rejoices in the glory of So this is how all, all the elect can get together, by the word of the heavenly father. This is because she person said, my sheep eat my voice and follow me. So the elect can go hear this truth. You see, man, I'm going to turn from this wicked way of life and turn back to the heavenly father. You see, no matter what the so-called white man want to face, because we want to pay off. How much agent you want to send, come basically um, start um, things with us and the IOS and the BIOS. You're not going to stop. The elect from sea, you're not going to stop them judgment. Good, uh, because of all these things basically are prophecy. You see me? You see me? You look at the basically get delivered from the four wings of the earth. That's a Bible prophecy. It's already happened. Already. I'll just live early for the script. Say, no matter what you want to do, this is the Lord moving. See, Pastor, the Lord, the clear one. The end from the beginning and from ancient time, the things that are done. So, my coach is all stand. I last time I do all in pleasure because it's a large pleasure. You finish? Um, yeah. so this is uh, Second Ezra uh, 6 and verse 28. It says, Faith shall flourish, and corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which had been so long without food. Shall be declared. God, so the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Right. And truth are declared right now. Heavily. Right now on you too. You see, should we be night time at the family and the word also? You see, we shall walk my prophecy. You see, so without never in the video this one. So without never say our praises and honor the hour of our shame, our shame, our shame, our God, and double and steel passes and the of brave and stone. Shalom to all our brothers and mothers. They are pushing straight, can't push pushing straight. God, pretty soon we are going to leave this society. Shalom. Shalom.